Hey guys, so this tutorial is going to be about the textures of shapes inside of Rec Room. This tutorial is going to be a very, fairly short tutorial compared to normal, but that's because there's not too, too much to talk about with this because it's very straightforward. But surprisingly, they've even though they've added this feature quite a while ago, there's still so many people that don't know about these settings. So let me show you a little bit about them. So, to start off the tutorial, we're obviously going to need our maker pen. Now to pull out your maker pen, you're going to want to open up your watch and be on your home menu. You're going to want to click backpack and then hit use on the maker pen. Now if you have it favorited, you can pull your maker pen from behind your back. Now once you pull it out from your back, flip up your maker pen to see the menu. Now with this menu, click open palette and then for this tutorial we're going to use a cube and the material that will be the most obvious in my opinion to see the difference in is grip tape and we're going to use a gray so let's just make our cube here so once we drop our maker pen we are no longer editing within the merge of this shape this is a shape and it is grip tape the material of it now the material is the difference between the texture of each shape in record so if you use the edit mode on the shape you can get inside of it and now if you click configure on this shape you can edit the size of the texture so you can make it smaller so there's like very detailed almost like a piece of metal or something or you can scale it up oops you can scale it up and have a bigger piece but it seems quite blurry you can mess around with it if you scale it up like this it kind of makes it look like a big piece of metal with little like smudges and stuff on it, in my opinion and it can give your builds just a tad bit more detail especially based on how like light hits the cube and stuff it'll make it seem much more detailed just by doing this now you can mess around with it as much as you want another thing that you can do though if you go back to the edit mode and use the configure mode on it you can offset it so if it's not quite where you want it to be you can offset it so another feature with textures in rec room with the shape tubing in our maker pen so let's pull out our maker pen again open up our menu click open palette and then on the shape tube let's click on this one and then for this just as an example let's use blue and then the material glossy plastic so make sure preferably turn smooth tubes off in your maker pen settings this can be found on the second page of the settings of the maker pen so i would recommend using four faucet tube and just tap it so walk, make sure you hit done editing here so if you want to so this is our piece of tubing here we're going to pull out our maker pen and use the edit mode on it now and then we're going to use the configure mode, just like the same way we edited the textures. You see, you can still change the texture size here, but you can enable smooth tubes on it. So if you really decided, I want this to be a smooth tube, you can do it here. But you can also enable a setting called use old end cap style. Now this setting kind of makes it look a bit more glossy and it adds just a tad bit of detail you can't get anywhere else almost like this and you, if you scale it up you can use it as windows on skyscrapers and the way light reflects off of it makes it look very realistic now another thing that we have here in the configure menu is the faucets you can easily change your tube faucets through this menu if you decide that maybe four isn't what i wanted to go with and i can use five instead so if i use five tube faucets and Maybe this is what I wanted instead. After You can experiment around with it and get exactly what you want without having to redraw your tube over and over. So that's how you edit the texture and the tube easily in Rec Room.